We're back. <laughs> Finally. Again. First, first, first. Guys, I'd like to apologize. Let me from from me, from us to you guys. It was hard, yeah. It was <laughs> hard. Yeah. Life is hard, guys. But we're back. Nonetheless, we're gonna give you good content. Like, we didn't disappear. We're still back. We're here. It's nice. We're still alive, guys. We're still here-ish. You know, like, things get hectic. You guys know, festive season is crazy. But it's finally the new year. Yippee! <laughs> Happy New Year to all our subscribers. Guys, thank you for still staying committed to us. We really appreciate it. And... Just to show you guys how sorry we are for taking so long. You're getting two videos this week. Not just one. Two. <laughs> so everybody get a video, man. You get a video. I get a video. <laughs> she gets a video. We're all getting videos. But anyway, it's your girl, Leslie. It's your boy, African boy. The diamond in Africa. <laughs> yes. I still don't have, even after that long time, I still don't have like a name, uh, a other name. It's it's very the hard. sideways comb. It, it, it's it's a real sideways comb. Now we'll, we we we're gonna sort it out. We're gonna sort it out. We're gonna make it work. Oh, wow. What are we doing today, Leslie? Break okay, it down for the people, guys. So today our video is basically it's basically gonna be like a story time, but slash couple video. So we are basically gonna talk about dribbles. And I know, I know, all of us have been through jokes. Guys, <laughs> these things make you cry. A grown man. If you not a grown man, cry. These things will make you cry. The dribbles. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, but yeah, basically we're going to talk about dribblers. Dribblers and dribbles, and then we're gonna give tips on how to deal with a dribbler. Female, male, parent, friend. They, they all dribble, Bella. Who oh, that ball? Dribbles. It goes what? <laughs> it goes left. What? Right? Ah, I'm like, ah, I didn't see it go left. <laughs> Guys, it's so the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh. Well, baby, you just made it like so extreme. But it's really that extreme, guys. Like, if you've been dribbled before, like, you definitely know, like, the chesties, the pains. Like, it's a lot. Whether it's a mate, whether it's you know, a it's relationship. Actually, it's so coming from a mate, actually. Because you just, like, you too. You too. You. To me. What? That is very true. That is very true. <sighs> Okay, so we first go start with African boys. Oh, why don't we start with yours? No, we're gonna start with yours. Who's more juicy? I think yours is more juicy. I don't. I don't think so. I feel like. Okay, do you wanna start with mine? As juicy. Yeah. It's not that bad, but it's bad because wow. Tell us your dribble bit. Right, I think it was twenty twenty twelve. Yes. So you know, I'm single. Smile. <laughs> So yeah, I like hit on a few girls. One girl actually likes me out of the hundred girls I hit up. So she's like, yo, oh, we're in school together. Also, she was in grade 10, I was in grade 12. So I was like, to her, and my friends are just like, not that girl. I'm like, why? It's like, I, oh, we won't tell you, but not that girl. <laughs> I'm like, mate, you should have just told me. So anyway, so she likes me. I'm just like, oh, you like me like this? You like her? So I was like, okay, no. So we text, we text, we text, and then she's like, no, she wants to go out for lunch. Now me, I'm in grade 12, guys. So I don't know, like maybe other pockets are, are, are screaming. My pocket that time was crying. <laughs> guys, I used to get a thousand rand a month. That is, and no, and half of that goes to how train. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, data, what, it was BBM that time. So 60 rand BBM, and then... 440. I only have 440 left for the month and I still need to groove <laughs> So anyway, she didn't understand that because she came from a bougie place So she calls me like yeah, let's go out. Let's go to Santin. I'm like, okay, Santin's fine. It's not it's not a problem And then I was like, then she's like, um, I'm gonna go there a bit earlier because I have to do something and then you can come I'm like, okay, cool. So she goes she does the shopping whatever she was doing. I think she was seeing other boys, but it's not my business anymore because I have one girl. <laughs> anyway, so 
Yeah, so she shops and then she says, okay, I'm at the restaurant. Like, okay, I'm th me, I'm thinking, William P. McDonald's. I'm like, oh no, it's a young hundred rand, 120, it can come out. So she's like, now I'm by Nelson Mandela Square. Isn't that what that part is called, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you know, you know all those restaurants in that area, they make you know you, you, your pockets are gonna cry. So I'm like, oh, maybe Mac maybe she means McDonald's, but on that side. <laughs> I go in, I'm like, where exactly? She's like, I don't know what the restaurant's called, but it's close to Raj. I think it's called Raj. Is it Raj? Mm. I don't Indian. know, guys. I'm not from the north. I it's not a know, north thing. It's I a, know strictly south thing. Well, it's not a north thing. It's Where like center? Raj. No, the restaurant. Anyway, so I'm looking to the right. I'm like, not this restaurant, please, Lord. It's top notch. It's like close to Michael Angelo. I was like, I know. I go in. I'm like, uh, and then she's like, yeah, I can see you. Can you see me? I'm waving. <laughs> So I walk, I'm like, okay, maybe she paid for herself because a good girl do that. You're not my girlfriend. How am I paying for you already? Oh. Yeah. So I sit down. She's like, oh, I'm glad you're here. You know, I didn't know you were going to make it. And I've already ordered my heart. Because I was like, okay, can, can, can I have the... the, the Courage! The, can, can I have the menu? <laughs> I look at the menu. I'm like, do you know what the cheapest meal there was? Breadsticks for 60 bucks. Breadsticks. Bread stick. A stick. Bread. Ah. I'm just like. Time for you, yeah, I think her meal cost like 200 just for herself. Not even me. So I was just like, you know what? I ate two hours. I'm gonna drink water. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's so hungry. I'm like, don't remember me. I'm fasting. Whoa, so, you're yeah. fasting. You told me. <laughs> That time I'm hungry, but I was fasting. You gonna fast. So yeah, I paid the bill because, wow. Then I went to my mates. I'm like, actually, I don't want to talk to you guys for a week. I was like, I told you. Like, you didn't tell me. You just said stay away, but wow. Okay, yeah, that's my story, guys. Like, <laughs> African boy got through it. It's not too bad, but it's bad. Oh, wow, babe. That was a hard time. That was very hard. I'm so glad you found me now. Oh, yeah. I love this stuff. <laughs> okay, it's Leslie's time. Pretty single, yeah, and then you know, like I went to this event called Mufftown Heights. I'm sure you guys love it, but I went to this event called Mufftown Heights, and so basically, I was there with my friend, and then I met this really cute Which guy. Friend? But baby, you're really gorgeous, hmm. so don't die. Stop saying cute, just say guy. Okay, I met, I this, met guy. this guy, I met this guy. Now we have to edit the things that we say. But okay, anyway. So I met this guy and yeah, it was a vibe, you know, it was really cool. And basically, like, he wanted to see me and stuff, you know. And he wasn't from Joburg, so, like, it was a whole chat of we need to see each other as soon as possible. So that, you know, like, when I leave, like, you know, it's still a vibe. Okay, cool, Kaya. Fast forward to New Year's Eve, right? He gets there with his mates because we're at some party in the south. He gets there with his mates, and then <laughs> it's all great, you know. Like, I'm just like, oh, this guy, you know. Like, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and then, fine, me and the guy, we vibe, whatever. And then it turns out his ex girl was actually his girl was there hmm. but i didn't know and we were all chilling together like in one circle so me i'm thinking to myself oh i found myself i am something can't they when it's time to go home when it's time to go home guys the girl <laughs> the girl comes up to me and she's trying to jump me so i'm just like who's this girl that's trying to what jump me because like fight with me did she just come to you and say, She oh. came to me and she attacked. She's like, no, it's no, on, no. it's lit. Wow. Like, we're about to have a street fight right now. So I'm her? just like, no, I didn't. Then I why even did left. Because probably the mate said that <laughs> the guy I hit the me. So I got that. dribbled, ah. you know what I mean? So now this girl comes with her gay ass friend. I have nothing against gay people. But this gay nigga came to me and... 
he's like yeah you know like right now you might think i'm a woman but like I can when mess it comes things to up. fighting like i'm I a guy it and it's about to be late <sighs> guys all of this for <sighs> one pp i was like never again will i trust a nigga okay don't trust these cute niggas because you'll get there to a turn up and then he comes with his whole girlfriend but then he sees you and he's trying to vibe. It's late. It's late. <laughs> but you don't trust these cute niggas. Me, I'm ugly because wow. What do you mean, babe? I didn't trust you when I met you though. Fact. Big fact. Like, why is he making this about him? It's my dribbling I'm story. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just that petty. I'm so sorry. But wow, baby, I'm so sorry you got dribbled. No other cute nigga will dribble you again. It's yeah, just because I'm stuck with you. So if, so if you leave me, like, I'll be I can't leave you. Wow. Where am I going when I leave you? <laughs> oh, my God. Not even Beyonce can take me. <laughs> Guys, my girlfriend is better than Beyonce. Yo, I wish just me. Come at me, beehive. Come at me now. No, please don't come at no, us. No, come at me, me. Like, wow. Don't leave. Come me. Come to me. <laughs> uh, you can't tell me. You can't tell me I must put Beyonce over my girl. Never. <laughs> Look at this face. Oh, wow. You're and so she... extreme, though. But I like it. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Back to the story. <laughs> so, basically, those are our dribbling stories. Now, we're going to give you a few tips on how to avoid a dribbler. Two tips, two tips, right? Yeah. Okay. So my first tip, my first tip, guys, no, don't ever, actually, don't ever listen to the homeboy's friends. If the guy hasn't said anything to you about, thank you, babe. If the guy hasn't said anything to you about you guys being together, do not trust the friends. The friends telling you, oh, yeah, I've never seen him with a girl like this. Nye, nye, nye. Oh, my gosh. Like, you know what? He even tells us that you wifey and it trust me they're telling that to five different girls that have come through to the posy so please know yourself respect yourself love yourself love yourself young child young king young and queen, queen. <laughs> <Kings and queens. laughs> okay your second tip my second tip is that also oh my gosh dribbles guys dribbles usually happen because of squads squads are like a big contributing factor to to getting dribbled like if you listen to how this person is via the squad yeah you might find yourself okay let me let me say young kings if 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 if, if, if the girls are telling nah you know like she doesn't even like ask for money like she doesn't what what if the girl hasn't told you that she don't ask for money, like you'll see yourself, like in Tanta, previously, you will end up there by Michael Watts. Drinking okay. water instead of eating. I'm and your life will shake. You it didn't eat, King. Shake. Wow. <laughs> did I not, in the how train, did I not cry because my stomach was sore? Anyway. It will definitely shake. And I feel like for girls, also you. If they're telling you, nah, my nigga, he hasn't dated in two years, whatever. Hey, dog, go and check that social media page. Don't be fooled. These motherfuckers are out here lying. I'm so sorry for the language, but they're out here lying. They're out here lying. <laughs> okay, relax, relax, relax. relax. I'm, I'm, I'm you eat it up. Let me give you my tips, guys. First tip. Let me have my tea. That's not tea. She's lying. It's alcohol, huh? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, now I forgot my tip. What's my tip? Um, wow, guys. Yeah, first things first, in terms of girls, now. Any red flag that you see, see or hear, take it. If you see a red flag, take it. Don't even think, ah, no, nah, I can't be that. In your cut, if your cut says, hey, it's his shoo shoo, it's gonna get shoo shoo. Don't ignore your red flags, please. Because your intuition is strong. It's too strong. Trust. It's too strong. If she goes to the bar <laughs> and says, instead of saying, Ah, oh, no, babe, anything you want to get me, it's fine. Instead of, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd like to have like three, three shots and two gins and a tonic. Listen. 
What's that? Big facts. What's that? Big facts. Like, <laughs> please <laughs> give me a chance, also. Like, and and young kings, man, don't feel pressure if you broke. You know, there are girls that are in line with that. I'm not saying they're broke girls. I'm just saying they are girls that understand the situation you in and will help you, or will rather go somewhere else because they want something better. But tr just trust me that don't try and be something you're not. Young King, stop lying to yourself. Just stick to your lane. Also, mates, please stop drib dribbling us, guys. Your <laughs> friends need to stop dribbling. Friends need to stop dribbling. Like we're already dealing with girls and boys, kings and queens. Now we must deal with you too. Stop dribbling us. Like we put our trust in you. I put my life for you and then you dribble me. I, I, it's getting, it's getting personal. It's really I'm, personal. I'm not going to blat that name, but it's, it's getting personal. It's a lot right now. It's a lot. We're getting heated. Like, come on, guys. Like we're friends. We've been mates for so long, but you're going to dribble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys i hope that you really enjoyed this video please continue to comment like and share as well as subscribe guys and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you know when we're posting videos guys anyway it's been fun it's been amazing sharing our stories with guys, you all please have a beautiful <laughs> start to your 2019 i know it's raining hard but just do things indoors like daddy and mommy, <laughs> inside the door. Oh, let's go grab some food because I'm hungry. Yeah, let's do this thing. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>